Hello and welcome to another episode of Once More With Feeling, Caution, the newest album from Mariah Carey. So what did you think, Billy? Well, Edmund, while I was walking down to the store to go buy myself some wonderful porridge, flavorless, yellow, gross, disgusting porridge, I thought to myself, man, what if Mariah Carey felt exactly how I feel? And then I found out she did. She released this wonderful album full of ten tracks, each bursting with the same level of emotion and dignity that this particular podcast that you, the listener, are experiencing right now. Each track comes to you loud and clear, full of the exact same level of excitement, suspense, and desirability as our... I'm sorry, I have too much emotion right now. Please allow me to scale it back a little. There, now I feel like I'm closer to where I should be. So, Edmund, while you were digging through the trash today, did you find everything you wanted to find? I know I did. Thank you, Mariah Carey, for showing me the way. (laughs) So, yeah, as you can tell, this did not enthuse us at all. No. In fact, I believe it actually put me back 14 steps in my developmental cycle. (laughs) I feel like I am being too harsh on this album. The best way I can describe this album is think if you wanted to have a salad. So you go to the grocery store. You buy yourself a head of lettuce. And that's it. You go home. You eat the lettuce with nothing else. It's not satisfying, (laughs) but it technically is a meal. Maybe. That's what this album is. It has no emotion. It has no real substance. Mariah Carey's voice is actually not half bad. It continues to be rather amazing. Her skill as a singer is still there, but her lack of emotion shines through on every single track. She has as little emotion, in fact, possibly less emotion, than the neutrals in Future Armor. Stop trying to oppress me. (laughs) (laughs) Oh... Uh, so yeah uh, it's this was uh, i don't even know what to make of this album aside from good lord i have never heard before in every album where i've found myself to be bored i have never found an instance of the album being the avatar for my boredom no see what this is this album basically this is ben stein the album Yes! That's exactly what this is. Because there are moments where she starts to shine through with just a little bit of excitement and just a little bit of emotion. And her vocal range starts to get impressive. And then she just goes back to just... Uh... Like, this is the sort of music that you can imagine listening to in elevators. <laughs> Uh, to be fair, that would genuinely improve elevators. I I would be okay with this. That would be fine. Like, okay, it also would work just fine as hold music. It would work just fine. There's nothing inherently wrong with it. I I didn't necessarily dislike it. It was fine. It just... Yeah, it really was just a head of lettuce. That's all it was. There was no substance to it, no real impressive parts, but there was nothing really negative. It just was... It was the embodiment of just Ben Stein. Yeah, like, there were a couple of songs that I was maybe starting to sort of kind of possibly warm up to, and then it just got boring again. Of all the things that I saw, though, in the album, the one that made me just get really puzzled was the track Giving Me Life, which featured Slick Rick, Blood Orange. I don't know if that's two people or one. I'm not terribly hip on the hip-hop, as they say in the, the circles I don't actually hang out in. I don't hang out in any circles. I'm alone in my life. Anyways. It's two parts, people. 
Oh, is it two people? Okay, well, yeah. I'm very sorry, Slick Rick and Blood Orange. Two guys I'll never meet for probably many good reasons. <laughs> All right, so I was taken aback because they used a bunch of snips, a bunch of little audio bites from Trading Places. And I'm very puzzled. Why? Why? Like- <sighs> Like, I've not seen Trading Places, so it didn't register for me. I just found myself going, what's, what, what, what is with the, what's, what's with these audio clips? What relevance have they got? I don't really know, because it opens up using Eddie Murphy, um, where he's trying to convince a, convince a lady basically to hang out with him, even though, you know, he's actually playing, pretending to be a cripple. Hmm. And it has no relevance to any of the, even the plot. Like, it's just a one-off joke statement. And then they use other snips throughout it. And then at the very end, they end up using snips when Eddie Murphy's character's throwing a big a big party and whatnot. And two people who threatened to beat the crap out of him earlier in the movie are now chilling at his house, drunk off their ass. And he's trying to throw them out. And, he, and they're like, oh, yeah, you're a cool dude kind of thing. It's just... It's a weird soundbite to just throw in at the very end of the song. Mm. I mean, uh, it was weird. That was just the part that threw me for a loop going, I love this movie. I'm very confused as to why these soundbites are in here. I can immediately recognize what parts of the movie this is from because I've seen the movie about 400 billion times. It's just a weird thing. It'd be along the lines of like if Evanescence just decided to throw in sound bites from Independence Day. It's yeah. just it's it's a weird thing. Or It'd be hilarious. Or like, I don't know, Metallica decided to throw in sound bites from Herbie. Ooh, ooh. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> that would be an that would be a Metallica album I would actually listen to. Seeing as I genuinely don't like Metallica, which is weird because I'm a metalhead. What's wrong with my life? I don't know. I mean, considering the bands you do like, I... <laughs> yeah, what is wrong with me? I'll, I, Okay, my hatred towards Metallica can go in a different episode. We don't need to taint poor Mariah Carey with that. <laughs> so at the very end of the day, Mariah Carey is a... What out of ten to you? Like, how do you feel about Mariah Carey's newest album? Uh, to be honest... I can't even work out a score for the album because I can't I, I can't even muster up the bile to give it a bad score. So what this album is is uh, by Psychostick <laughs> yes, out of ten. Yes. There you go. That's all there is to it. That's that's the score is uh, <laughs> out of ten by Psychostick. Um that's that's the score for this album, which yeah, I think we should just play that like as the outgoing. It just should be that that right there. So, um, yeah. Uh, Do you have anything else you feel like saying about this? All I'm going to say is, as I say, there are a couple of tracks that I was sort of okay with. And that was the title track was sort of okay. I, I was creeped out by the way that she says, get the fuck out. No, uh, the, ti- just... the title track. Oh, 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 I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm having... No, get the fuck out. That was one of those, what the fuck is this? <laughs> yeah. Uh, but that was a weird but one. the title track, it's all right. I mean, the message is very simplistic. Like, we've heard it a billion times before. Be careful with my heart and how you are in, a, in the relationship. But I don't want to. I just want to use and abuse you, Edmund. <laughs> That's why I'm here. Just to use and abuse you. Uh, um... And giving me life. The, the weird thing is, it's sort of like I was thrown by the weird sound bites and the out of fuck nowhere rap clips. The rap verse Just, is sort of like, what the fuck is with this? But musically, it was one of the better songs on the album. So I don't know where to fall on that. Like, it had this weird horror movie esque keyboard work, but then you had really funky guitar driven stuff at sort of like the five minute mark. As I've said, the whole album is. Uh, yeah. I'm inside you. You know that song. Yeah. <laughs> it's just that's it. Um, that's all we have to say. Uh, yeah, it's just gonna be being a dead horse at this point if we go any further. So yeah, yeah. if you're into Mariah, I guess check it out. If you're not into Mariah, 
don't bother. Just just give it a pass. Yeah. You'll probably hear it on the radio anyways. Yeah, you're not losing anything by not checking this album out if you're not already into Mariah, so... Yeah, and if you're looking for a train wreck, this isn't it. It's not a train wreck, it's just... It's a commute on a very boring day. Yeah. It's just another another album where, yeah, Mariah Carey just showed up to work and clocked in and clocked out and nothing happened. Yeah. The underground wasn't even packed. It was just she found a seat. She had a newspaper to read. She yawned a few times and she went home. Yeah. So kudos, Mariah, to another successful album. Because I'm <laughs> going to assume this will sell quite well. And thanks and so long and thanks for all the... Uh, um i think i got broken i'm sorry i forgot where i was going with that um yeah but yeah uh, i'm i hate to say <laughs> uh poor edmund i think you're just as broken as i am at this point not, not even sure where to go i feel like i've walked through a village ended up in a forest and now i think i'm in hansel and gretel's story that's not right that's no because i don't get i don't get eaten by a witch yeah Anyways. But all I can really say about this album is it definitely didn't give us life. <sighs> that was bad. Bye, everybody. Y'all take care now. We'll see you next week, day, month, hour. <laughs> Bye. It wasn't really, wasn't really.